In the part one video of our Mackinac Island trip, you saw how we left early on the morning of July 2, and after stops in Frankfurt, Charlevoix, and Beaver Island, ended up arriving at Mackinac Island on July 5. After getting settled in, we left our dog Max as our guard dog, and Mike, Beth, Sharon, and I headed to the Pink Pony for a toast. We had never stayed on the island overnight, so we loved seeing it all lit up. After our last grilled dinner on the island Friday night, we took off Saturday morning, bound for Harbor Springs. After letting Max do his business on shore the next morning, we left Harbor Springs to head to Elk Rapids, where our good friends Bob and Kim now live, and greeted us. I first went up the mast with the help of Bob and Sharon to fix our wind vane, and we then went to Bob and Kim's condo for dinner and dessert. We also did laundry there. So here is a little about our boat life, doing projects, making cards, making cards, old uh, charts. I see. Okay. And make millions of boxes. There you go. And Max, of course, is taking a nap. He's pretty good at taking those naps. We are about. Uh, I don't know, five miles, no, I, I, I don't know. We're uh, head, headed to South Manitou. We'll anchor there all, over there uh, overnight, tonight, and then uh, head to Frankfurt and anchor out maybe a day or two, because the weather's not supposed to be really good on Wednesday. So we've had a great uh, motor sale so far. Tried to fix the autopilot, but still not working. We recalibrated it a couple times, and um, I don't know. We'll get there. So this is what our chart plotter and the split screen looks like. Um, we're just you know, learning about it, but it's just really cool. And if I can zoom in on here, um, basically you can see where we are is the ship. We have a waypoint, and then uh, we're going to be going to South Manitou, which is off to the left of there. I'm anchoring there overnight.
They don't allow dogs on South Manitou Island, so we had to disguise Max for his potty breaks. We awoke to a misty wet morning and blueberry pancakes. Here we are anchored in Pentwater. It was a lumpy ride today and uh, just a lot of uh, kind of following seas and the wind built and uh, the wind the waves were really kind of five to six footers. We were kind of surprised at that. But here you can see the entrance of Pentwater. There's the Pentwater Yacht Club. Still waiting for Mike and Beth. They'll be here soon we think. And, uh, but it was a, a good, well, no, it was a chilly day. It was a long day, 59 miles. We are here. All right, so here we are uh, in Pentwater. 
Tomorrow we'll return back to the Yacht Club. Sharon has worked on getting the lifelines set and she's, uh, you know, she's getting there. Has it uh, been kind of fun to do that or? It's fun as long as I can do it in uh, sunny weather and calm conditions. Uh, actually coming up uh, north last week, I had a great chance as we were just motoring up north to do it right on Lake Michigan. And it was a beautiful day to do it, good project to work on. So not done yet, I'm trying to figure it out. We'll get there. So today wouldn't have been a good day to do it uh, from Frankfurt down to here. <laughs> It wouldn't be good to have anybody out there. And uh, Max is uh, is enjoying his time. He's just kind of watching and supervising. And uh, but uh, um, so far, it's it's really been a nice. We have a great anchored spot here. Um, and uh, we seem to be holding. I think that the, this will be our fourth night in a row that we have anchored out. So we haven't plugged in. Um, to an outlet and for four nights now um, So that's really kind of cool to be able to do that Again going back to the city of Pentwater. We're gonna probably go out there for dinner um, It's always a fun little little town to go into Thursday nights often they'll have their uh, their band playing in the uh, Pavilion so it's always kind of cool We'll check it out We realized the weather was going to be iffy the next day and we had to get back. So we left Pentwater that evening at 9.30 and arrived back in Muskegon about 3 a.m. It was a great trip. <laughs>